Welcome back to CentOS Tutorials. Today I'll show you how to configure the SSH daemon on a server and how to access to the remote server with SSH. CentOS 7, even in minimal installation, has pre-installed SSH daemon and gives us the possibility to access on a server. I will use installed system from previous video. Ok, we are ready. First of all, we will check main configuration file of SSH daemon. For this purposes, we will use uh, easy and uh, light editor nano ATC SSH SSH dconfig. This is configuration file of SSH daemon. To make it more secure, we will deny login by user root. Also, we uncomment directive protocol to force our uh, server use, use new protocol number 2 and uncomment port number. We will left uh, 22 port is default SSH port. Uh, however, you are able to set uh, any other port. Uh, by doing this, you will make your system a little bit more secure. Save our file. Exit. After saving file, do not forget to restart daemon in order to apply your configuration. We will do this by system cutl restart sshd daemon. That's it. Now I'll open in my PC system terminal and connect to the server using SSH. Command SSH our user add IP address. Password, we in. We can check this by hostname. We can see that the hostname of our system is tutorial, and in last video I have installed this system. However, using password little bit boring. If you have a lot of servers with different users and passwords, it's a little bit hard to remember all passwords and all addresses. So to little bit make easier this way, we will use keys in order to access the server. To do this, we'll log out from the server. First of all, if you doing this first time, you need to generate your keys on your machine. with option T RSA. I already have one, so I do not overwrite it and my key is ready. If you're doing this first time, uh, system ask your passphrase, uh, you enter your passphrase and after that uh, system will generate a, uh, a key. Then we need to copy our key to remove machine. We make this by ssh copy id command. Set our user and IP of our machine. Now password. That's it. We can see that uh, keys was added. Now try to log in into machine. Now we are able to login to the system without password that's it all working
Thank you for your watching and welcome to my next video.